Hello everyone, welcome back to Jacob's Toys. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. And as you can see, I am joined by the one and only Super Sorrel. Um, and we are looking at the week in review. So we're going to have a little bit of a chat about some of the things that have come out for Marvel Legends, um, the Star Wars Black Series, as well as some of the Disney Plus TV shows. Um, and then also a little bit else, a little bit more about what else is going on in the kind of geek and nerd community. So, Super Sorrel, thank you very much for joining. No um, so let's jump straight in with Marvel Legends. Um, oh, yes. Retro Sandman has recently been announced. Initial thoughts? What? Where are you at with it? I'm, I'm just happy to have another Sandman in the collection that isn't going to you know, make, make me remortgage my house to afford one. Because yes. I missed the first one. <laughs> Did you so, have you not got the have you not got the I've bat? not got a Sandman at all in my collection. Ah, oh, see I I had two. I'm gonna show off a little <laughs> bit. But I had I was lucky to get the bath quite early on before it really skyrocketed. Um and then I also picked up the raft one as a as like a, a bundle that I got for somebody. Um and I recently moved that one on. But I I personally pre ordered the uh the retro one just because I think it, it fits in that line, doesn't it? Yes, um yes. but the the opinions are really divided. I've seen some people go really mad for it and others like really complain about it, which uh, I can't, I don't understand. It's like, so I think some people were expecting uh, more of a deluxe kind of figure than what we ended up getting. I think people wanted those extra bits um, that you would have got from a bath figure, maybe bigger hands, hammered hands, things like that. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, this figure but, is literally just a straight pack, isn't it? Yeah. Not really Ryan, but I, um, yeah, Ryan Ting put out a comparison picture. Did you catch that one where he put yeah, the, yeah. the side by side? And I think as far as a, a retro carded figure goes, I think it looks the part. I mean, it's 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 not the bath, but it is a Sandman, like you say. It's and yeah. it will fit in anyone's collection perfectly well. And I think um, a lot of people as well were, come, were sort of saying that the book they've put it on is like a bit small, but actually when you place him next to a Spider Man, someone did a side by side shot with mm, Spider Man. Yeah, the back, it's, the, back it's the right height. Yeah. It's the right height. Yeah. That's it. And you look back to kind of the cartoon, the comic book, and, mm -hmm. you know, there wasn't a huge height difference. It was no. literally, you know, the top end of the five foot for kind of Spider-Man and the lower end of six foot for Sandman. So it does yeah. work. And um, the one thing that I really dislike about the bath um, and the raft one as well is the, the ball point, uh, the ball legs, you know, the ball point. Yeah. I, I can't stand them. It's one thing I really dislike about my Hawkeye figure as well, like the original Hawkeye, because he's mm -hmm. got the ball point legs. Um, so I'm really pleased because that's that's a real OCD pet hate of mine. So when I saw <laughs> Sam, I was like, yeah, so um, I'm definitely excited for it. And I think that I hope that people get behind it and it, it does well, because obviously people are talking about things like Rhino and, and Hobgoblin and wanting all yeah. those things. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously we're only going to get those things if – if the, the other things before it do well so yeah i'm really i'm really hoping for a rhino because again a rhino is another one that i don't have in my collection the early spider one stuff i really didn't get on board with and i have regret it to this day now no R rhino i haven't got either i i built him up to i've got all the figures from the wave that i've picked up mm. here and there but the the actual builder figure rhino i i missed out on as well um i think i've got the select in place at the moment the select is quite a, yeah. a decent one um but yeah, I'm really hoping for a, a rhino, and that that will be a deluxe. Let's be honest; that's oh, got to be a, a big, a big one. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the other figure that came out was the uh, the game of Earth Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. um, now I've got to admit, I've got the game, and I got the game on release. I still haven't played it. <laughs> still <laughs> haven't got around to playing it. My son has. My son's nearly completed it, um, but I'm still to sit down and actually actually play it so so i'm not aware of the different suits and stuff like that. i've tried to kind of stay away from the, the any any elements of spoilers but obviously i know that mars morales can go invisible and i'm yes. guessing that that's what this suit is is that do we even they've sort of made this from the game of us but to be fair even in the spider-verse movie he went invisible and could do the electrocute thing so i mean that's just in the lore of miles morales in general isn't it so i mean yeah, exactly. I, I like this suit and that I'm going to be getting this figure not not as a game verse figure, but just as a generic Miles Morales invisible figure for for my bot for my collection. Hundred percent, I think as well that 
from what I can tell, it, it looks like quite a new tooling as well. So looks that like only it, yeah. kind of only opens up the door for obviously future Mars Morales game verse. Because I think that's something that they definitely like dropped the ball on a little bit with the first game because obviously it was such a hit and we only had that that one kind of exclusive figure that became really you know really popular and really quite the hot figure at the time. Oh yeah. Um, and then they released a couple of suits a little bit later, but I think that they could have really cleaned up if they had they pushed out a couple of waves. So I'm really excited for it. It's another another figure that I'm really, really excited for. Um, and then another one that came out of nowhere was the uh, the uh, Mobius figure from Loki. Um, which... <laughs> when when they dropped that figure, the problem was Loki hadn't aired at that point, had it really? No, so not really. when they released it, I remember laughing to myself and going, oh, wow, Owen oh, Wilson figure. <laughs> <laughs> like... so, yeah, everyone did it in the voice. I was like, my first thought was, oh, I've always wanted a figure of Owen Wilson. So here we go. So, but having watched the show, I love the character. So yes. I'm really pleased. Like, I am really pleased. And I think as well, next to the uh, the Disney Plus wave, um, I know that you've you've had them in hand. I mean, I've, I've got them as well. Um, I think it would look really nice next to that version of Loki. Because yes. when it was first announced, I kind of looked at it and I was like, oh, I really wish we got Loki in a traditional kind of Loki outfit. But then having watched the show and knowing that this figure's also coming, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's, you know, that, that's, that's good. That's fine. Yeah. But the beauty of Marvel legends, you can pop that, you can pop that new sculpt head off and plunk it on the old Loki on the old Loki body. And it looks the bee's knees. That's it. That's it. So, and it is a good, it's quite a good sculpt as well. I was, mm, I, I, very good. I, uh, I had a look at it. Um, I think I actually put a review up the other, uh, earlier today, um, or maybe last night. Um, but I really like the, the, the face sculpt on it. I think mm-hmm. it looks fan- fantastic. I don't think the promotional shots did it anywhere near the justice that the in hand kind of. Uh, was, yeah, the look of it is, is very, very good. I really like it. it they, I think the hit the nail on the head with his look with his likeness, it looks spawn. Mm. Yeah, actually, yeah, definitely. Because some of them always, some of them kind of look a little bit off sometimes when you sort of see the face scan stuff, but that one looks, you know, spawn. Yeah. I was quite pleased with the Disney wave as a whole, to be honest. Yeah, I thought that the face scan, the face app was my personal favourite. Was Winter Soldier? I'm not going to lie, that I thought that was absolutely mint. And uh, I'm guessing you agree, disagree. Like <laughs> the wave for me, um, I got the wave for Vision and Scarlet Witch. I'm not going to lie, I bought them for yeah. those two figures. This I'm I'm still. Uh, you'll probably see it next week when the video goes up. But I'm still a bit grizzled about the whole wings being the bath thing. Yeah, I feel I, I felt I felt that if they were going to do Sam Wilson, they should have done him in as a deluxe figure separate from the wave. Yeah, and given him yeah. the proper treatment and put it all in one big box for 40, 50 quid, and people would have bought it. Yeah, I think the opportunity to have a build a figure of I don't know anything else, yeah, even Agatha or something, I would have accepted a build a figure of Agatha. Yeah, I mean that's that's real common. That's a really a real common opinion, isn't it? Of it that everyone was kind of like, "Whoa, well, hang on a sec." The, the, the wings of the mm. bath like, and they only did that once before with the uh Spider Man, didn't they? The mm-hmm. uh, the vulture, the vulture. And, no, the vulture. but that vulture. Uh, vulture, but that was so much bigger. So, but I'll, I won't let's not spoil that because your video will come out and, and people can <laughs> tune in to see that. Um, so that's all the Marvel Legends I think that we've had in the last week, uh, week and a bit. That's um, awesome. Black Series, Star Wars Black Series, I know that you're a fan, I'm definitely a fan. Um, we had a few bad batch figures come out. Um, yes. The first, I think, obviously, and the, the the most excited I got was for the Rex, um, Captain Rex with the poncho and the hood. Um, considering I don't have a Rex figure, it's one of the figures that I kept uh, missing and I've missed every time. So when I saw that, I was like, thank you very much. I was one of those that were really pleased. And I was like, yeah, that's brilliant. I'll take that. He can be my Rex. <laughs> I think a lot of people are excited because obviously this time around, uh, the, the Rex head is obviously bald this time. It's not, not got the blonde strip. So that yep. could easily be an unmasked Boba Fett as well now. Yeah, actually. Good so shout. there's some, there's some customization abilities there that's going to be good for him. That's really good. Although they did mention that, that that when they did the pipeline reveals, they said that they the the oh they uh, definitely do it. Yeah, the Boba. Fett. I can't remember what is what's it called, like a Nomad or, or something like that. Nomad they called Boba it. Fett. Like, yeah, they are so going to milk that dry. We're going to get you know that. We're going to get the standard one first. Then they're going to give us the one in the full armor. Then they're going to. <laughs> <laughs> and with the show coming out as well, you know that they're just. Oh, gonna, we are going to have Boba Fett's coming out of everywhere. Let's be honest. Um, the other one was the uh, the the two twelve uh, the two twelve Clone Wars trooper as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, thoughts on that? 
I'm not too up on that trooper, to be fair. I don't know where that's come from. I'm really not up on like trooper numbers, to be honest. Is that from is that a Clone Wars one? I'm not 100% sure exactly where it comes from. There's so many crossovers. Where it exactly lands, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I know there was a box set with the different Italians yeah. and stuff, um, and they're slowly kind of re-releasing those as individual figures because that box set was uh, was exclusive, I think. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, so a lot of people would... Yeah. So they've... Uh, I know that that's kind of the, the plan. I think that they're releasing those as... But mm -hmm. I'm a massive... Troop, clone trooper fan yeah, yeah. so in, any clone trooper variation i'm just mm. like i'll get it and if i'm not 100 sure i did i then go back and look up oh, there it is that's the one like so um but i've got to admit i, I must make put one confession now i didn't watch the clone war series until maybe a couple of years ago um oh, right. being a fan of star wars my entire life <laughs> i kind of was very much nope it's just the movies just the movies and then the more kind of traction the clone wars got and the more people talked about it i sat down and i binge watched about i think it was about five series at that point mm. and just absolutely fell in love with it do you remember when the original clone wars came out when it was a cartoon on cartoon network and it was like anime style the yeah the kind of unspoken not canon yeah. version and that's where the uh the obi-wan commander figure came mm -hmm. from wasn't it it's was based on that one yeah um yes no i do i do remember and i think that might have been part of the reason why i didn't kind of jump on board because i was kind of like oh okay are they just is this going to be another ewoks tv show you know yeah, in that yeah, respect yeah. so and i love all that stuff but I, I was very kind of right i need to get the story straight in my head especially with all the new <laughs> films coming out and stuff like that um but since watching it it's almost like being a kid again as an adult because mm -hmm. i was like this is amazing and then when season seven dropped um it was brilliant and then again bad batch so but we'll get on to that and we'll get into get on to bad batch in a second let's 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 stay on the figures for a minute because you've also got the uh we had the Imperial Crosshair, which obviously was released as well, or was announced as well, um, yep. which I'm really pleased about. Um, I saw quite a few uh, customs, like people doing some really, really good customs after, I think, what was it, episode one when he switched over, didn't he? he switched over, yeah, in episode one. He kind of got that almost almost a Death Trooper style costume, isn't it, really? It's that mm. green and black kind of a look. Yeah. Um, <laughs> see, is did in the last wave we got a trooper didn't we that looked just like that yes to be honest. yeah, yeah. it's basically the, that trooper but with a new crosshair head on it that is and I, yeah a couple of little bits on it and <laughs> to be honest with you when because that it was that trooper and you had hunter and you had crosshair mm. and a couple of others um and as soon as as soon as i saw it on the the show i was like that's that's gonna be the the way they go you know you know that's gonna happen yeah. so um I'm just kind of annoyed that I didn't get a few more now to stand behind my crosshair. It's just going to be him and crosshair of one, I think, when I get it. Um, am, I, am I the only one that wants a young Kanan figure as well now? No, I would no, love, that I is, would love a two pack of Kanan <laughs> and his... Uh, and his uh, I, I, his I can never the remember master. the Jedi name. I yeah, the master's name. It. I can never remember a name. But I would love them two as a two pack. I would, I would yeah. happily buy that. Yeah. Young that Kanan. Was, that, that was fantastic. I was, it was one of them ones where I was like, when I was watching it, and I kind of... I had to kind of rewind and double check. Mm -hmm. And I was like, is that? Yeah. Put all the, and then as soon as I was, I was sold. Um, <laughs> let's get on to Bad Batch in a sec. Um, because there was also three, uh, three other figures announced, wasn't there? Um, yeah, Power the, of the Force card box. That's correct. And they're exclusives, I believe. They were exclusive to somewhere, I thought. Um, I don't know. I know that I know for us in the UK, they're available on Hasbro Pulse. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're, they're basically, it is, it's Repack City, isn't it? Let's, let's, say what it is it of looked course. good and it's it's yeah, great yeah. That we can finally get greedo again because i'm yeah. i don't have a greedo i only no. have that weird repack what we got last time that was solid green yeah kind of yeah. one um so it's nice to get one finally but yeah it is three repacks again uh, yeah it's like how far can the push the collect the collector's market with repacks there's a lot of repacks and repaints going on at the moment Mainly in Star Wars. Uh, yeah there, there is a lot and I'm, I'm not against it. I, 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 I'm, I totally appreciate it because there's always that figure that you need and you kind of wait for them to, to repack it. But mm -hmm. it is, like you say, how far are they going to push it? And, you know, because I remember at one point, every time a wave was announced, they're all brand new figures and they were, you mm -hmm. know, it was it was almost if you kind of missed one, you had to then chase it, you know. And, but I'm, I'm pleased. I mean, I haven't got a Greedo either. I, I skipped over the green one um, and I missed the boat completely at the beginning. So... Mm -hmm. I'll definitely be picking this one up without a doubt. 
Yeah, I wasn't even collecting when that when that when that one came out. I was I didn't join Black Series really? collecting until Force Awakens. So I started really? with the, yeah, so I started with the new fancy red boxes. Wow, that's, never uh, had that's the old that's, one. There you go, there you go. Um, <laughs> well, funny thing, I was very similar because I I bought them way back um, when they first came out because it was mm. like oh Star Wars figures that kind of match the because I was collecting toy beers here and there and stuff like that with the Marvel Legends. Um, and I saw them very much as the Star Wars equivalent. And I bought a couple and then I was like, you know what, this is not a collection I can go down the rabbit hole for. Yeah. So I kind of passed them off, sold them and all the rest of it. And then I got back in quite heavy a couple of years ago and was just like, yeah, I need to catch up again. Um, and I met that kind of, st- especially with the Mandalorian launching mm-hmm. and all the figures that came with Mando. And I was like, yep, yeah, definitely need to have this. So I'm kind of at the crossroads of, do I just want to try to get everything or am i going to be very specific as in clones and mandalorian or jedis and sith or something like that so um but i'll just def- i'll have to pick up a greedo let's be honest we all need a greedo in our collection it's oh, yeah. you know, it's it's just, even just to sit opposite hand if nothing else so um but i think that's all the figures i think that's all the figures that have been announced across those two brands anyway from hasbro um so bad batch let's let's talk about bad batch for a second then um well, your opinions. I, I love it. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love it. I think it's um, it feels very much like a season eight of Clone Wars. Yeah. That you know everything, even from having that voiceover at the beginning on that first episode and seeing the cameos from certain people. Um, I, I was a fan right from the beginning. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm a huge fan. What what? Where are you with it, Ash? What's your... I'm, I'm really loving the fact that it seems like Dave Filoni basically has finally been given the rights to go back and put everything right that he didn't get to do the first time around when, he, when they just abruptly ended it. Mm. And now he's kind of putting his finishing touches and he's even bridging the gaps now, which is brilliant. We got, we're seeing through, through Order 66 into Rebels territory in this yes. season, which is brilliant. Yes. And I hope he continues that. Um, there's a lot of, of the canonized novels now out there that I would or comic books that I would love to see get remade in CGI. We definitely would be amazing, wouldn't it? just to bridge some of those gaps even more. That would be fantastic. I think that there's definitely scope. There's so much, like you say, there's so much content out there um, mm. to, to to kind of turn some of that around. Be brilliant. Did you hear that? What one of Dave Filoni's dreams is to redo Episode Three in CGI with with his voiceover cast from Clone Wars. Wow. That Just would be amazing. Then, so then you could, the idea is you could watch the Clone Wars series episode mm. three as a CGI cartoon, then Bad Batch. It would all just that, flow. That would be, that would be incredible. That really would be incredible. Um, I liked as well that they addressed the transition between clones to yes. troopers. I, I thought that. that was, that was a really nice touch. And that it, it wasn't very long. It was a couple of minutes in one mm-hmm. of the episodes two or episode two or three and it just kind of ticked that box and, and answered that question didn't it just sort of this is this is why because it's always something that people have sort of said well you know if the clones are so great why is it that they've transitioned and you know what how do we get stormtroopers um and as i said i'm a massive clone fan if you like i think that that's and the fact uh, that we got to see Tarkin as well yes that was just yes, another another was, little tick for me we're like yep i love that yeah so and obviously in the you know in the episode just before um we had Captain Rex come back, um, which was teased on one of the Black Series mm. boxes with the, the little kind of montage. Not montage, what's the right word for it? Um, pictures, I can't remember the, mm. the name. Colla- collage, there you collage, go. Yeah. <laughs> the little collage that you get on the side. Um, and there was so many theories about who the poncho belonged to. Um, I was really pleased to see Rex, I'm not going to lie. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely a great character. Huge backstory with him anyway in Clone Wars and stuff. Um well, we still need but to I find know. out how he ended up with Wolf and McGregor in the middle of a desert on a big bug thing, wherever that in Rebels. That's, a, then, that's it. There's so I'm much to see where there. that goes. <laughs> yeah, there's so much to bridge. Then uh, mm-hmm. I wonder whether we'll see that in Clone Wars or whether that we're going to get another series. Yeah. yeah, almost like a, I don't even know what you'd call it, you know, but something that shows their journey and how they kind of come mm-hmm. around. But there's there's so many unanswered questions, isn't there? Um, but I thought it was really good. I, I, I ended the I ended the episode kind of disappointed that he was leaving. I kind of would have liked to have seen him maybe ride along with him for an episode or something, as opposed to just sort of in and out as the credits go. Um, but 
I think that they, they're doing a really good job with making those. Each episode seems to be a callback to something, you know, like yeah. the episode before, wasn't it? It was uh, when they had, I can't remember the name, what did they call it? There was actually a name for the baby. Um, oh, when they went looking for the, the Jabba the Hutt's baby. Yeah, but what did they call her? She had a name. I can't remember. I thought, I thought it was it the baby rancor, wasn't it? it? Yeah, it was baby rancor, but there, there was a name, wasn't there? And you didn't <laughs> know that it was a rancor until obviously they got to it. And then, and I thought that was a really nice kind of, again, just tying it all up. And <laughs> yeah. especially for, for fans that, that kind of know all the different stories and the different layers that kind of almost weave those stories together in the way that they're doing it. I think they're doing a stellar <laughs> job. I really do. Um, I don't know how many episodes there are. I can't remember reading. They're making a full, it's a full season of about 20 odd episodes. It's going to be about, I think 22 episodes, I think they said. Really? We've still oh, got okay, a long so way I've, to go, yeah. Oh, so we've got so much to go. Yeah, yeah. that's brilliant. It's, it's one of the things that I haven't seen. I don't, not many because I haven't looked for it, but how many episodes were, were sort of penned. Yeah, um, when you, when we think at the end of Clone Wars season seven, Ahsoka's still kicking around somewhere. We've got Darth Vader kicking about, Darth Maul's even kicking about still at this point. There's, There's yeah. so much stuff that could give us with this and take yeah. it somewhere. I think Ahsoka's got to pop up. Let's be yeah. honest. She, she's she's yeah. got to pop up somewhere because she was, you know, she was so integral to the Clone Wars mm -hmm. storyline and easily one of my favourite Jedi's, I'm not going to lie, um, or not Jedi as she is, you know, but definitely mm -hmm. my favourite Force wielder. Um, so she's got to pop up somewhere. I'd be really upset if she didn't, but I think I think we will. Oh, she definitely um, is. She will be in it. <laughs> <laughs> any, it'll be a, any it'll be a mid, yeah i think there'll be a midpoint season trailer coming up where we're going to yeah. stop because there'll be a little bit like one, one of those like mini breaks that we sometimes get in these things and there'll be like a mid-season trailer in america that we'll leak and see over here and it'll it'll be it will be a soaker it'll be teased yeah. the soaker's coming what are your thoughts uh, exactly what are your thoughts about omega omega though omega uh <laughs> i think she's definitely based on their dna i think she's one of them yeah, and you, you know, like when um, Django Fett wanted a clone of himself, but not a clone, and for it to age naturally, and it became Boba. Yes. I think she is that to the to the to like Hunter. Okay. I think she's from the same DNA strand as the Bad Batch or whatever you want to call them, or that that clone group. Yeah, but she's just been able to grow naturally, and she's a you know, it's, it was an unaltered like child, so that's mm -hmm. why it's a girl, not a boy, and things like that. It's like it's been an un unaltered kid. Yeah, that's a good theory. And obviously there was no inhibitor chip and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So none of the Order 66 that, you know, affected her at all. I, I think there's definitely something more to her story. Um, I, I, wouldn't, major... I wouldn't even put it past them spinning it on her head and she being the bad guy in this whole thing. You know what? Somehow down be, the line. Yeah. That would be amazing. <laughs> just some kind of like double agent and she's mm -hmm. just... But yeah, that would be that would be because when insane. when she escaped with them, they they seemed the the two the two um, cloners seemed really happy that she'd managed to get out with them. The knew that she'd gone, they knew. Yeah, whether they sent her, we don't know. Whether they helped her get there, we don't know. No, and then obviously now there's all the the different uh, bounty hunters and stuff chasing after mm -hmm. her as well. Because obviously we we've had so many callbacks during the show. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I don't know. Nice to see Shand as well in this in the series. Yes, yes, yeah, she's a um, brilliant character. Yeah, and that's and popped up like across so many different bits and bobs here now. So it's yeah, um, yeah. No, I, I'm really happy with what they're doing, and I'm I, I'm really excited to see where it goes. Um, so other big TV show, obviously Disney Plus, um, Loki. Oh, you know, yeah. we, we touched on it a minute ago. We talk about the talk about the figures. Um, two episodes down. Um, let, I'm just going to go really hard straight away. Lady Loki at the end. Yeah. Do, do, do you think it's Lady Loki or is it something else? Like I, I'm frustrated with myself for not calling it earlier on. Like it just <laughs> to they're doing a Loki TV show and Lady Loki is such a kind of you know character in the comic books in various mm -hmm. different strands and you know we've seen her in various different places and people have called for a lady loki figure for before um how i didn't put two and two together and call it um did you call it did you think she was no gonna show up? no not really i thought when there was uh, when they were sort of mentioning about something i thought it was going to be kid loki especially with the select recently having kid loki put back in it That's... i thought did they know something as i assumed yeah. it was going to be a kid and then therefore he couldn't kill a kid version of himself so i thought there was going to be that whole dilemma of it's a kid sort of thing yeah 
But no, Lady Loki was a big shock, but I'm happy about it. And I think it is her. Yeah. I, would, I think it'd yeah. be cheap now to say it's not. Yeah. So it's definitely got to be her. Uh, it's funny you mentioned Kid Loki because that's where I, that's where my thinking went, having seen mm. the select. You, you got the select, didn't you? I've I got think the select, the, yeah. I saw you do a review on it, yeah. Really good um, figure. Good figure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it looked really, I'm not going to lie, the, the Loki figure looked fantastic. I mean, obviously, anyone that's not seen a review, go, go and check out your, your review, obviously. Um, but that's where my thinking went. But I think with all the variants, because they talk about the different variants, yeah. don't they? It's, he's got to pop up at some point. I yeah, think. definitely. Because they've chased down other variants of Loki by the sounds of it previously. Mm. This isn't and the first time they've encountered Loki. He's he's no. been kicking about for a while. Different variants. No. Um, yeah, no. So I'd like I'd very much like to see him turn up. That would be quite exciting. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go though. Oh, I've got some theories. <laughs> I've I've got one theory that I've heard. Let mm. me see if you've heard this one. So my theory was all about the the, the TVA as such, um, yeah. and there's there's been a few people talking about the the line that um uh what's his name um, Mobius said to him about time moving differently in the TVA, and obviously you you know where I'm going with this or not? <laughs> no, 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 yeah. So that's that's a line that's been used previously yeah. before. Um, all right, Ant Man and the Wasp. Um, Janet said yeah. the time Moves said the exact same line. line. Yeah, um, and obviously Paul Rudd's Ant Man said about time moving differently. Yeah. Um, and then I saw uh, a theory that it, in one part of Ant Man and the Wasp, there's a, a little city in the mm. in the quantum realm, and everyone was talking about Kang the Conqueror and the the, the new Ant Man and the Wasp film coming up. But then the theory is that that's the TVA. And the mm. TVA is actually within the quantum realm, and that's where it's going to kind of tie Loki into the quantum mania and all that kind of stuff. And I just got my head started thinking, and I was like, "Wow, actually, that makes a lot of sense because mm. they don't age, they don't." Um, and also, if you look at the timekeepers, the sacred timekeepers that they they've shown you glimpses of, they resemble Kang, like with the blue skin and the, yeah, yeah. the gems. So I was like, "Oh, actually, that that could work. Like, that'd be." I, I don't know how I feel about it, whether it would be like a kind of a cheap shot and just kind of like, oh, that's, you know, that's, that's a bit disappointing or whether it would tie in nicely to, to what's coming up. But that, that's my thinking and theory at the moment. That's the, the theory I'm, I'm thinking too much about. <laughs> well, I've got um, a couple of little things that I thought maybe they could go with. Uh, firstly being that he's obviously they keep saying that he's hiding in apocalyptic events. Mm-hmm. So one of the biggest events that happened in the MCU history is the snap. Yeah, of course. Could l- could there be something to do with that? And is he and this current Loki? Right, I need to go back a little bit. So at the fir- in the first episode, we saw Loki watching that television, and he said about the he saw the Infinity Stones being used by Thanos, didn't he? He yes. saw all of time played out in front of him, or his life played out in front of him. Yeah, so he's now got he's now got the order. Yes. I think this variant of Loki is the one that's going to double cross the TVA and is the one that inevitably becomes the dark Loki or the girl Loki or whatever. I think, I think right. it's, it's the same timeline. Okay. Just like the past. And eventually this Loki is going to try and assemble the infinity stones himself before Thanos gets them. Yeah. Which would, which would equate that then. So basically then captain America would never have aged. Sam Sam will never be Captain America. He will just be Sam, Fal- uh, you know, the Falcon again. Yeah. Um. All the, all of this stuff would have never have happened. Like we would still have Black Widow. She wouldn't have died because yeah. she wouldn't have had to kill herself. Yeah. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy wouldn't have ever been split up. The uh, all of that. Uh, what do you call them? Asgard would still be alive. Yeah. That's really they interesting. They could literally that change, is. and then, but that, in doing so, he's now created the multiverse. Now, all and those then, explosions uh, the other day in trying to do this, he's now caused a bigger incident. And then that and ties into your Doctor Strange and bringing in the all multiverse of madness. Because in the, madness. Episode, the last episode, they, u- they used both phrases, multiverse and madness, in the same sentence. Just they in different did, ways. actually. Yes. Yes. That's, that's a really interesting. And didn't they, they had the Infinity Stones, didn't they? In like a drawer or something. And yeah. they really, it was like a palm off joke kind of oh yeah everyone's got on or paperweights or something they they mm-hmm. called them didn't they um but you never saw him again so whether he pocketed them or even just took one or two uh, yeah that's a really interesting one that's i really could see that loki assembling them and doing something with them mm. so then that's really it would just, interesting 
it would then obviously our timeline that we're used to isn't where Loki currently is. No, we're on these are two different timelines now. Yes. So the, that that would mean in our current MCU timeline, Black Widow is still dead, but there's a Black Widow kicking about in another multiverse. Does that that's make sense? That's yes. what I'm saying. So there is the opportunity to go into the other verses and have Chris Evans do a cameo as Captain America from a different multiverse. Didn't some who, one of the big players? It was either Chris Evans or Robert Downey Jr. And they said that they were there was talk of him filming something or returning as someone. I'm mm. sure I read something, so maybe that would tie in. Because again, and then if if what I'm saying ended up being, then even Iron Man wouldn't technically be dead. He would still be around. He would never no. have to do. He would never have to do the click. Never have to kill himself. It would also be or a really a good movie. way, a really good way to really mess up everybody's kind of opinion of the MCU, mm. and then Doctor Strange's film kind mm. of put it all together. That's really There's interesting. No, and as well, we've got Wonder. Yeah. Well, now we've now got Wanda, who's now got the you know the, she's now got her powers and doing all her mind bending stuff, and the dark hold book and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, I've got a feeling she's going to be the bad guy. She's going to go a little bit old school Scarlet Witch evil on us. That's cool. And, That's, we all want to see that. That's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've got a feeling she's going to be part of this whole multiverse of madness, and Doctor Strange is going to be the person that tries to set it all right and has to track track down Scarlet Witch and Loki. That'd be really interesting. That'd be really cool. Um, Because obviously there's there's a lot of people talking about Spider-Man and, you know, Mm. the new Spider-Man, and that's how it it ties into Doctor Strange. They said a while back, didn't they, that Spider-Man is one of the next big, like, tie-ins for the whole thing, for this whole TV universe. So obviously, obviously we saw J. Jonah Jameson return in the last film. Yes. But we know that actor is a J. Jonah Jameson from a different universe. And so, and supposedly we're going to get cameos from other Spider-Man universes. Yes. They're, they're all popping up on Twitter and stuff, aren't they? <laughs> saying, you know, who's doing what? And I think it's all pretty much confirmed. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it'd, be, it'd be a lot of organized chaos if they were all kind of just making, making uh, assumptions and, and saying the wrong thing. But yeah. Um, but so many people were caught up on Spider-Man being so heavily linked to Doctor Strange. I think mm. people kind of forgot that we were getting a Loki TV show. And do we think, do we think maybe because obviously we know it, with the, with the spider verse, especially being as big as it is, could the tie that in with the mad, the multiverse of madness have all that was one big thing and maybe bring in the likes of Madam Web and characters like that. Oh, I'd love to see a Madam Web in the, in the MCU. Um, well, he's, <laughs> he's traveling through all the different universes and she's the one that's like, what are you doing, Peter? I mean, that, that would just be, be awesome to have her involved. That would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. I, I really have, it, really have no idea. And what's really interesting as a, as a viewer, as a fan is that to be kind of, because we've, we've definitely with Falcon and Winter Soldier, you kind of knew the narrative. You knew where it was going to go. You knew mm-hmm. we were going to see Sam as, as Captain America, which I loved, by the way, I've just got to put it out there that, Chills went up my spine when he came out in that. And it was so comic book accurate as well. I was just like, this is perfect. Um, WandaVision obviously started off with, you didn't really have a clue what was going on. (laughs) But then so many people theorised. And and, and I I put a lot of it down to a lot of people being in lockdown, that we all just had time to think and put all our (laughs) theories out. There were so many theories about that. But you kind of got the gist of where it was going. Whereas Mm -hmm. Loki really could go in any direction yeah. and it just ties in so even the fact that they're putting it out on a wednesday through me do you know what i mean mm-hmm. whereas all the shows were fridays just it was always fridays wasn't it and then all of a sudden it's like yeah it's coming out wednesday because originally it was penned for a certain day and then they they brought it forward didn't they did you did mm-hmm. you catch that that they um, yeah and even that threw me and i was like well if anyone's going to do it it's going to be loki so who knows who knows it, it could go anywhere um, I love that theory though the Infinity Stones one that's a really interesting one and it just ties so would, yeah it would just create so much mess in the um, in the timeline then I know, yeah. I know it would be a different universe but still it would just create opportunities for us to go to get different characters from different universes crossing over yeah they've already done that with the current timeline with the we've got we've got the Gamora character obviously from the other universe is now in the main universe Yes. I've already started doing that. So that it may and be a cheap get out, but I don't know. It's just a way of doing it, isn't it? No, no one stays exactly. dead in the no one stays dead in Marvel. No, no, no. That's no. Unless, 
unless that price gets too high and then they're not <laughs> going to pay. <laughs> so, but, but then, I mean, that, that's, that's, you throw me now. Now I'm going to be thinking about that one. <laughs> now, now I'm going to be sat there and I'll be messaging you at stupid o'clock going, right, well, hang on a sec. If this has worked, <laughs> that's, that is interesting. But like I said, I just think the fact that he's so chaotic and that there's so much kind of organized kind of chaos to his character anyway, it, they really could do anything. And it would be great to see him really push the boundaries of that and make it a mess, like really mm. mess everything up but then have the longer plans kind of bring it all back together somehow or well, with Dr. Strange, I guess, but with, yeah. with that film. Um, yeah, that's, that is interesting. Is there any other theories or any other, you heard anything else on the, no, that that I've kind of I've kind of stayed away because when when One Division came out, I made the mistake of reading too many fan theories and getting too involved, and then yeah. I ended up where I was disappointed in the ending of the series because I wanted it to go a certain way because I was a big fan. Yeah. So yeah. I'm trying not to do that with Loki, <laughs> even though I've got this theory in my head that's just made up of what I've seen so far. I, yeah. mean, I don't want to try and get too invested in it and then do the same again basically because the thing no. no one can write it like your own imagination let's put it no, that of way. course of course and when you've got so much um source <laughs> material you know comic mm -hmm. books cartoons you know graphic novels you know there's so many so much source material you know for for somebody that that has read it or whatnot in the past you can kind of go oh well, actually that kind of makes sense and and you start putting it all together and like you say your imagination runs wild doesn't it um but as a whole just you know, while we're on that sort of MCU Disney Plus, I, I'm loving it. I think it's fantastic. I just think mm -hmm. it's. I was I was skeptical when they kind of sort of said, "Yeah, we're going to push loads out as TV shows," because obviously before that you had, mm -hmm. you know, Agents of Shield and things like that, which were great and Inhumans, and they were great, but they never kind of tied in, did they? Yeah. And then you had all the the real good Netflix shows, and or well, some some of them were really good, <laughs> Iron Fist, you know, not so much, but but they didn't really tie in, did they? It was just little subtle hints. And then, so when they were talking about doing so much kind of MCU on television, I was skeptical, but I think the shows are phenomenal. I think they're. Yeah. There's, there's a little bit of me that does hope that because, uh, because I enjoyed it so much. There's a little bit of me that, that does hope that they keep the actors from um, the, you know, the daredevil show and Punisher. Yeah. Cause then I, I liked, I liked Matthew Cox and I, I liked their, their characters. I thought they played good roles of them and Kingpin yeah. especially was just, a, it was a good humanized version of Kingpin, but still oh, definitely. I would love yeah. to see them come back at some point in our MCU. And with the multiverse, I suppose you've kind of got that option now, haven't you? It's, you especially know, with clearly Spider-Man clearly needing a lawyer right now. Exactly. Well, there's so many, th I've seen so many kind of fan trailers. You must've seen the odd mm, one yeah, yeah. where they're kind of splicing the two together and um, it would be, it would be good, but, because then it could have as well. You could even include. Obviously, we've got She Hulk coming out, so you could even include yeah. Jennifer Walters, and she called. You could even have her because she's a lawyer by day. You could yeah. have her as opposite, you know, as the as the uh, opposition, and have Daredevil as the defense lawyer, and have Spider Man in the middle of it all. That that would make an amazing have a sort of TV have thing. Just do a Disney Plus courtroom drama. Just yeah, like, I would, just, I would be invested in that. No, no superheroes, <laughs> no superpowers, just all the all the courtroom drama style characters and just have them all there doing a case. Um, that would be cool. But I, I just love the characters that are pushing out. Obviously, you know, like we talked uh, before, obviously we started, we are talking about the, the WandaVision characters and stuff. And, you know, White Vision is just, mm -hmm. that was just the pinnacle for me of that show. And it was just, to have that in figure form is fantastic. Um but to also know that that character is still out there and still in the, in the universe is, is awesome. That conversation he had with himself is my, that is still the highlight of oh. that show. When he, when he, that was yeah. brilliant. Uh, yeah. If they replace one, one piece of wood on a ship, it's still the same ship. That I was like, it I was, loved that. How he, how he got him, got into his own head and stuff. That was brilliant. It was fantastic. It was. A, and oh, really? as I said, I'm, I'm really interested to see where all that goes. And there's so many kind of loose ends in, in all of the shows we've had so far. Um, in the, in the, obviously like with, with vision, um, obviously he did the, we had this in the comic books where vision went back to being an Android with no emotion. Right. And that's when the shoved, is it um, uh, one wonder man that shoved his brain inside of vision to make yes. him human. Yes, could we they, could we see something happen like that in MCU now, that where they end up using someone like using a soul of somebody else to shove inside Vision and turn him back into the, the Vision we all know, reuniting with Scarlet Witch? 
that would be interesting. And then there's another character, a way of bringing another character in. Um, and obviously Disney Plus has obviously been very uh, thing about um, giving us the young Avengers now, basically. We've now got all the, we've basically seen all the characters now. Yeah, well, we've got Kate Bishop coming in the upcoming Hawkeye as well. Yeah. Right? So that's the series that I'm looking forward to the most. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Massive, massive Hawkeye fan. Um, so when that was announced, that was on the, the card. That was, to be perfectly honest with you, that was, it was that show that made me tip to over the edge to, to get in the Disney Plus subscription. I was like, if I can only see this show on here, I need yep. to get it. And obviously it's, we're getting closer and closer, but we've seen her. Um, and obviously we've seen, you know, various other characters in the other shows. So yeah, I, I think that will happen. I think we'll, you know, we will get it. Um, and obviously we've got Black Widow as well coming out. What? Next, what is it? Two weeks now? Like that. It's not, not long now, is it? No, it's not. Are you going to venture out to cinema? Or are you going to watch Hell it yeah. at home? Hell yeah, I'm going to go to cinema. It's got to be done, isn't it? I just, I, I had this conversation with some of my friends. And I was like, I've seen every MCU film in the cinema. I can't not. <laughs> I can't, I can't appealing as the rent it at home or download it at home is I've, I've got to go and see it on the screen haven't I so I'm hoping obviously that um, Florence Pugh is used in the future as well because she's a great actress and I think she could be a great uh, you know the I've forgotten some of Bolivia isn't it um, mm. I remember her character name but she's basically Black Widow too in the comics yes yeah 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 Which, is the yeah, because it could obviously we've now got US agent kicking about. Could they not use like that, ver like her with him and have like a secret Avengers or something going on there? Or the Th is it Thunderbolts? Were they a part of and stuff like that? There was uh, what was the other one called as well? There was uh, another one. Thunderbolts are obviously a big one. Um, mm -hmm. And people have kind of been picking those characters apart, haven't they? Where, you know, we've got this person here and this person there. Um, Oh, there was another team as well that I thought of. Can't remember. Lost me. I'll remember next time. <laughs> I remember next time. We'll be like, remember that. But yeah, so there's that. There's that as well. So that's. I think that's all the TV. I don't think there's much more TV at the moment. You need to. Yeah, we've got Black Widow. We've got Loki, Bad Batch. Um, anything else that you've noticed going on in the community? Any other big announcements or? So there was the bit, the the big news out of Playmobil um, today was literally that the uh, they're going to be doing the USS Enterprise, yes, uh, the original the original series uh, <laughs> ship, and it's four hundred ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents. Wow, which is an insane, insane price. What's but that going to be? Absolutely massive. The entire command deck is there. You take the top of the ship off. The entire command deck is there with about ten different characters. Then you can take the side of the ship off. You've got engineering and things wow. like that. So it's it's a very wow. in -depth set. And it's I guess that the play because I haven't seen the pictures yet. I know we spoke about it, but I haven't seen any photographs of it yet. Mm. Um, I'm guessing the figures are. Normal Playmobil size. Normal Playmobil size. So yeah, the ship is absolutely massive. They said you can either have it on. A, they've got a display stand, or you can hang it from your roof. So they've made ways of hanging the thing as well. Wow, that <laughs> like was one of the, the things. You into can the structure. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's got. You, you've got to go into the beams because it's so <laughs> heavy. Like, but I must admit that's because I had the, uh, the the Lego set of uh, the Millennium Falcon. The um, mm. what are they called? Is it the collector's edition? Is that the name of the, the brand, I think, Collector's Edition, where they do the higher end? Oh, the ma is it it's Masters like, or something like that, they call it? The something big, like that. And yeah, it was like 600... Black boxes, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Like £650, like Millennium Falcon. I was like, I have to have this. This is something I have to have. Um, and it took me about two weeks to put together. But it was huge. Like, And, and I'm talking, like, <laughs> just huge. Mm. Like, so big that I had nowhere to put it. Like, I literally had nowhere to put it. I was like, I couldn't. I've seen people kind of put it in coffee tables and stuff like that, but I just couldn't in, in my house. And I looked kind of in my room, like, you know, where I could put it and what stands I could get for it. And eventually I was like, you know what? I've had it, I've built it, and I sold it because it was just too big. <laughs> so, you know, for any diehard Star Trek fans, you know, this has got to be a, 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 a you know, a must, surely. Mm -hmm. and, and even if you're not a fan of Playmobil, you put all the characters in it and you hang it up, it's just going to be a centrepiece, isn't it? So, oh, yeah. It's, yeah, I'm going to have to check those pictures out and have a proper look at it. I mean, I'm not a Star Trek fan myself. I've never really. I'll watch it. I'll sit down. I'll watch it. I enjoy it. But it was it was always Star Wars for me. That was always yeah. the, the I was always the Star Wars guy. But um, I've got friends that are Star Trek people, so maybe if they get one, I'll, I'll go around and take some pictures, <laughs> have a little play. So yeah, my dad my dad was Star Trek, and I grew up with Star Wars, so it was 
Sorry, wow. just for that house. But um, uh, the only other thing that came out this week that was kind of a big talking point was, uh, you know, J- uh, Jada Toys, who make all the RC control cars and die cast vehicles. Uh, oh, yeah. they're, they're venturing into six inch action figures, fully articulated style, and they're making oh, right. universal monsters. You know what? I think there was it. You posted about saying like, I posted about this. Uh, yeah, yes. I got well excited. <laughs> yeah, that's that's awesome. That's really cool. It's just because um, the Universal Monster seems to be back. I mean, NECA are making their versions one by one. They've done the Wolfman yeah. and Frankenstein so far. Then uh, Lego have done the Brickheads of Frankenstein, and they've got Dracula coming out this October. So it just yeah. seems that Universal are pushing the monsters again. Because they tried it, didn't they, with the, the films? They tried to build tried the, the universe, again, didn't they? They? Yeah. And, there, and then there was the Invisible Man that came out as well, and then there was all the little cameos at the end, wasn't there, about... I think it was... It was... Uh, mm. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, I think, was the yeah. cameo at the end of The Mummy. But, um, but yeah, it just didn't really go anywhere. It didn't take off, did it? It was. It didn't, it didn't make any money, that's why. <laughs> no, it was maybe it just. Uh, maybe it was just putting Tom Cruise in The Mummy. I don't know. It was... I think people just compared it to Brendan Fraser's Mummy. You're never going to beat that. That, no, was that was Indiana that Jones was... all over again, wasn't it? It, it was. It, it was brilliant. Movie. It was brilliant. Even The Rock in it, when he was The Rock, you know, before all before this stuff now, just this big CGI Scorpion thing was just incredible. I'm going to have to check them out because I'm definitely a fan of the old school Universal stuff. Um, so that is and interesting. The best part is they're even giving Marvel a run for the money here. They're giving Hasbro a run because they've, they're 24 points of articulation. <clears throat> they've okay. got alt- alternate hands on heads and accessories in every pack. So, I mean, that for me was just like... <laughs> Yeah, can't can't go wrong with that, can you? Um, are these literally just just been announced, or is there dates on them, or what? Nothing you? yet. Basically, so even Jada Toys haven't announced them. They basically leaked onto a European toy toy makers website, oh, and right. then they got told to take them down. But by the time they did, social media did its thing, and pff, all the pictures it. were out. The the ba- they're, they are due in September, so they should be up for pre order any time now. Oh, amazing! amazing. So they are due okay. in September. They're going to come out in time for Halloween. And you're going to get a full set, aren't you? Oh, of course I am. <laughs> I might have to pick up one or two. One or two. Have they done? Did you say which ones they were? Have they got the? Uh, yep. So we've got Frankenstein. Yep. Rider Frankenstein, Creature of the Black Lagoon, and Dracula is all in wave one. Black Lagoon. That's the, that's where I'm going. If I can get that one, Creature of the Black Lagoon, that will that will hold pride of place in my in my collection. Definitely. I just remember watching the film as a kid, and it scaring the life out of me. <laughs> I don't know. There was something different about it. Whether it was the water, or the, I don't know. But it just it it ticked a box in my head and scared the life out of me as a kid so that would definitely be pride of place in my in my collection so so jacob toys amazing. this week coming up we've got a new yes. week in front of us what are you doing on your channel this next week uh on this channel i've got the disney plus wave that i'm tr- slowly just getting some reviews out for um mm-hmm. just to get a bit of content out um it's also it's just the wave i was so excited for i was like i've got to kind of put my my two pints in here and just sort mm-hmm. of like talk about them um and yeah i mean that's that's really the main thing i've got a, a casting tutorial coming up that i'm kind of working on as well i'm gonna gonna get that out at some point just because i, I do a load of head casts and mm-hmm. people ask me how it's done so i was just like you know what i'll yeah. do a quick video people can see it um that's kind of where i'm at but then i've also got a lot of the uh i did a whole series of kind of comic book versus mcu Mm-hmm. figures next to each other um, and obviously with the new disney plus ones i've got all those photos to take mm-hmm. as well um so that's kind of where my week's at i think what about yourself what what you got coming up so i've got um the coffin coffin shops lady the uh, lady death coming up this week nice. we're looking forward to having her on the channel and um i've got the mezco hellboy review coming up this week as well fantastic so excited to have fantastic. that fantastic well obviously we'll all your links to your channel and that be in the description. Um, obviously, anyone that knows you should know how to find your channel anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll put, I'll put all the links down at the bottom anyway. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe same time next week, and we'll, we'll have a look what's been going on. Definitely. Another week's review, because in the, as, the, as they said, uh, back in the days of 1966 Batman, same bat time, same oh, yeah. bat channel. <laughs> that's it that's it and um as i've said before what we'll do is we'll, we'll pull some people in various places here and there um mm-hmm. and, and get kind of other people's opinions on what's going on but you know we've got another episode of loki to look forward to we've got another episode of bad batch and i have no doubt that you know they've already said in marvel legends that july is going to be a, a big month 
for, for reveals. So I'm sure mm-hmm. we'll have loads more to talk about on, on them ones as well. Um, if you but yeah. get, if you want to get someone on this channel, we need to get Dave displays model behavior to let him go mental on Loki for you because he will baffle you with <laughs> what that guy knows. He remembers comic books better than I can, and he will throw something at him into the spot. I remember when we did one a while back when WandaVision first launched, and me and him spent about a good seventy minutes discussing theories for WandaVision. So amazing! He's amazing. the man well, if maybe, he wants some theories. Maybe we'll give him a shout, see if he can join <laughs> us next week, and see what see what's what, and then uh, make every good thing bring people in see what's going on um because that's the idea of what we're doing here for, for anyone that's that's kind of listened up we're just going to be talking talking the week in review um bringing people in you know a couple of special guests here and there and whatnot um and yeah just chatting chatting geek really so but super surreal thank you very much for your time this has been great i've really enjoyed myself i hope you have as well um and we'll uh we'll do this next week Guys, listen up to me before we go. Jacob Stories, please make sure you hit that subscribe button on his channel because he's a new up and coming YouTuber and he's going to be a big time. So make sure you subscribe and like this video, guys, and I'll be come back next week and we'll host another one of these awesome videos. <laughs> Thank you very much, Super Surreal. Till next time, see you later. Oh, yeah.